Okay. She is put back together, by God. Yeah. Ain't got the one that runs in. Make sure you put your bolt back in this up here. And put all your bolts back together. And uh, as you can tell, I have it installed now. And this is the one on the torque converter that I started with. And I went all the way around. And I got them all down. So now we're going to take a razor blade. And we're going to scrape this old gasket off. And get it off. And then we're going to jump out there and start working on that timing. And in the meantime, I'm going to attempt to try to put them springs back in on them dadgum uh, lines. You can't see right here. Uh, maybe you can see it there. There's one. It takes a little spring in there. And then over here in the very back, where the other one is, I don't know if you can see it. But there's a spring that goes on that one. That's one I, I thought I lost. Hell, I see it. It's still in there, I think. No, it's gone. But I got brand new ones. Uh, you go with that kit, 800-801, and you'll have the springs. And they are, where in the hell are, there they are. <laughs> Come here. Right here. These little dudes, okay? And then we'll put the lines back in and we're done except for putting a transmission mount. And I need to raise this up a little bit. Uh, brace it, because I've already got the new seal in. Uh-huh, look at there. I got the new seal in. I got the drive sash one. And I've got them back in the uh, differential down there, the few joints the cups and everything so be very careful with them cups and remember that uh, if you drop one make sure that you check and make sure all the needle bearings are inside of it and then put it back on but if you don't well just take the damn thing down there and get new juice joints which I've already had this shaft with new U joints on the very the differential and right there on the carrier bearing and right here, they're all brand new. Uh, and so you got to be very careful with them. And I had the, the shaft balance, so that's all good. And what we're waiting on now, which should come tomorrow, and I'll be able to put them in Saturday, will be the uh, uh, transmission mount and the two motor mounts, the right and left motor mounts which I gotta oil them up and get them ready so I can take them off and all that good horse shit uh, la 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 a lot of bullshit but we are at the point now to where we start screwing around with the uh, timing and it's all good so y'all enjoy it we'll go get a couple of razor blades which I got them right here and you wanna scrape them down just put the blade on there flat and scrape and scrape don't turn it edgeways or any shit like that just get that old rubber off that is on there been baked and cooked okay that's the idea and I think that's where my damn leaf was was right there right there yeah and I got a new gasket and everything for this and I got a new gasket for the lines which is hanging down here in the oil pan uh, and I got a brand new starter. We'll put that on later. But once we get all this, the timing done, the next thing will be we'll put this cover on right here that goes, that covers your flywheel and your torque converter and keeps it from getting shit in it. And then we'll put the, uh, that right here, <laughs> the oil pan on it after we get it all done. We'll put the oil pan on, then we'll put the starter on. So we're not far. Uh, right now, it's just dick around with these things and put this bolt back into the bracket and put that bolt right there. You see it back into the side right there. Lift transmission a little bit so we can get in there and get to them lines and, and uh, put the clips on it. So peace, nanny nanny shots, and all that other good shit. And I am so close down, it is unreal. 
Thank you.